Otis College of Art and Design presents How to Set Up, Light, and Photograph a Green Screen The basic concept of keying is very simple. The talent is positioned in front of a green screen. The screen is evenly lit, and the talent is lit separately. Then it's recorded. Using a computer, the footage is processed using keying software where the green is removed, so that the remaining foreground image can be composited in front of another background. Simple. To begin, you will need a tripod, a camera, a tape measure, a protractor, color chart, or a gray card, a matte sphere, a notepad, and a pen. Lights, possibly diffusion and color correction gels, assorted grip equipment, including gloves, and of course, a green screen. To begin, it's helpful to shoot the background plate first. This way, you can match the lighting later when you shoot the talent in front of the green screen. After you've shot your footage, it's important that you write down all camera data the type and model of camera, the lens used, the ISO or ISO, the shutter speed and the f-stop, the height of the camera from the ground, the angle of the fluid head, and the distance of the talent to the image sensor plane on the camera. Next, photograph the lighting conditions. Ideally, use a matte sphere. Place the sphere where the talent will be in the final composited shot. If possible, zoom in and take a close-up of the sphere without moving your camera's location. The sphere allows you to see both the angle of the light and its color. The alternative, low-tech solution, is just to use your hand. Now you're ready to shoot the green screen portion. You'll need to set up the green screen and its lights, possibly separation lights, to remove any green spill, foreground lights, to light your talent and your camera. This is a portable green screen. And this is a blue screen. With modern digital video cameras, we prefer the green side. First, set up two C-stands to create a frame. Remember to place the high leg in the direction of the load. Place a sandbag on the high leg. Rotate the arm to a 90 degree angle. Starting with the top section, raise the arms to slightly above the green screen's height. Make sure the arms touch. Place the screen between the C-stands and attach with clips to both the top and the sides. Pull the screen taut to remove any wrinkles. Remember, when working with lighting equipment, always wear gloves. It's best to use green spectrum or daylight balanced lights when lighting the screen. If you use tungsten balance lights, attach a color temperature blue gel called CTB. This shifts the light's output to daylight balanced. Unfortunately, it also reduces the amount of light by half. When lighting the screen, the objective is to create even overall lighting. Place the lights on either side of the screen. With Kinos, the rule of thumb is that the light's distance from the screen should be half the width of the screen and at a 45 degree angle. Raise the light to half the height of the screen. Notice how the beams cross over each other, creating an even field of light. Using a light meter, check that there is less than one f-stop difference between the lightest and darkest area of the screen. Sometimes, you'll need to add separation lights. The talent should be far enough away from the green screen so that you can light them without affecting the screen. This will also prevent green spill on your subject. If this is not possible, use separation lights with minus green gels to remove any spill. Based on the notes you took when shooting your background plate, set up your foreground lighting. The key light is the main light source in your scene. 
the fill light allows you to model and define the depths of the shadows on your subject. The edge light separates the talent from the background. Make sure that the cast of the foreground lights are not polluting the green screen. Check your lighting setup by bringing in your matte ball. Compare it to the matte ball shot for the background plate. The key light intensity should be equal to or a half stop above the green screen levels. The most important thing is that the green screen level is not clipping. Based on your notes, set up your camera. Now, set the white balance by shooting a white card, or even better, a gray card where the talent stands. It's helpful to shoot a color chart for color grading your footage later. Traditionally, film is shot at 24 frames a second with a 180 degree shutter, which is the equivalent of 1 48th of a second. This captures the amount of motion blur we associate with film. Depending on how much the talent needs to move, this amount of motion blur can make pulling a key very difficult. For shots that involve quick movements, use at least a 90 degree shutter, which is 1 96th of a second. This gives the image a crisper edge. Setting focus. Setting a focus so that the green screen is slightly blurred will help even out the lighting on the screen. But avoid focuses that blend the talent with the green screen. A clean edge will give you a clean matte. Just follow these simple steps and all your post trick will be much easier. Now go out and shoot.